Hey guys, in the previous video we looked at um, setting up our UI and we ended up with this and we also set up how our pods and Firebase we can see that here we have, and we've installed the Firebase authentication pods so in this video we're going to be finishing that up and we're going to be, I'm going to be teaching you how to create users and how to verify uh, login users so what we're going to have to do is add a verification layer at the start of this of this uh, what do I call it this storyboard so I'm just gonna add a view controller in and I'll call this verification controller so I'll just make a new file click touch class view controller and I'll name this verification controller and what this is gonna do is when the app is first loaded it's just going to all it's gonna do is just show us how um, it's just going to check if a user signed in or not and if they are signed in then put us straight to the view controller and if they're not signed in we'll put it to the sign up controller so what I'm going to do is just delete this and we can delete that and we're just going to move this here and create a a uh, we'll just give this one a navigation controller now we can give this a segue so we'll give this segue um, call this one let's call this one verification sign up and let's also make one from the verification controller to the app and we'll name this one verified because they've been verified Okay, now I can give this view controller our um, we can give this view controller our verification controller class, and we're also just going to quickly get rid of this and move it to our verification controller because that was that this is now our root view controller. Okay, so now in the view um, in the view did load, actually yeah we can do it in the view did load. So in the view did load. What we're going to do is first we're going to import Firebase and we're also going to import Firebase off. Uh, you don't have to do this, but I'll just do it anyway so it looks cleaner. Now, what I'm going to do is check if a user is signed in. So we'll do if user dot current. Oh, I mean, first we need to first use the user, um, create a user. So I'll just do let user equals auth dot auth dot current user this will give us our current user and this can also be nil so now we have to check if user is equal to let's just check what this is yeah it's an optional wait let me just click you, you can see it's an optional so if if user is nil then we want to put um, send them to the sign up screen else if they're signed in send them to the app okay so now we can just perform the segues we just created so do perform segue with identifier and that one was verified and set to self and the other one, uh, actually, I actually forgot what the other one was, we'll just check quickly. So this one was verification sign up. Okay. And this one was verified. Okay. So now I can just check this. Uh, I'll just run this quickly to see how this works. Let's see what these two. Oh, it doesn't really matter. Oh, and we also, we also forgot to. Uh, we've forgotten to set this as our initial view controller. So now, let's just check how this seat works. Now you can avoid these warnings for now. But you can see it just moves us straight to the uh, the sign up screen because we hadn't signed up. So now we can move on to creating the uh, the users. So what I'm going to do is go to our main.storyboard and create outlets for each one of these 
text boxes. So what I'm going to do is just click on this and we'll just make an outlet for each of these text boxes. So we'll have name text field, uh, if I can spell, name text field, email text field. Uh, and then we'll just have password and confirm password. Um, you can also include a forgot password option here. Uh, there's a setting for that in Firebase and it's quite easy to implement but I won't be covering that in today's video. So what we're going to be doing is also adding, uh, oh we already have a sign up button, okay. So what we can do is just here we're going to read all of these and create a user based on that. So what I'm going to do is, um, so what I'm going to do is just create uh, variables or constants for each one. So I'm just going to say let name equals name text field dot text. Uh, let email equals email text field dot text. Uh, and then we need to check if both password text boxes are the same. So let password text. Oh, I have to set as password text because I've already set this as password. Equals password dot text, and let confirm password text is equal to confirm password dot text. Okay, now what we need to do is if password text is equal to confirm password text oh. then we can go in else uh, the user needs to use the same password so we can just put an error um, an alert here so I'll just say let alert equals UI alert action title please retype the password uh, this is just going to be a dot default oh wait this is a uh, I need a UI alert controller <laughs> whoops alert controller and title please retype the password your your two password words don't match and this will be a dot alert okay we also just need to add an action quickly add action UI alert action and this is going to be just okay dot cancel and nil okay let's just present this alert sent uh, alert uh, let me just go on to this so it's a lot easier for you guys to see alert it's animated and there's no completion okay so now we can actually create the user <laughs> so to create a user in in um, Firebase Authentication, you just do auth, wait, yeah, auth dot auth. Oh, sorry, we haven't imported Firebase auth yet. We need to import Firebase and import Firebase auth. Okay, now we can actually do auth. So if auth dot auth dot create user with email, oh, yeah, we also. So we can do this, uh, so I'll, I'll do this bit first and then we also need to do something in Firebase. So what I'm just going to do with email, email, password, password, text, and completion, this is just going to be, uh, it's just going to be user and error in, and then this is where the uh, this is where the code is executed. Uh, let's just force unwrap this. Yeah, let's just force unwrap all of these because it can always be a string. Okay, 
now what we can do is uh, we have to create the user so we've created the user here now we need to check if there's no error so if error is equal to nil then we can do this and the user also has a name so we can't what we need to do is set their display name to their name so all I'm gonna do is if user is equal to user just checking if a user is valid we need to create a change request so let change request equals user dot create profile oh hang on uh, this doesn't really matter for all we're doing here though is just we just want to add a naming, um, like a name. This is why we have a name text field. But all we actually need to create an account is an email. So if I'm being honest, we really don't actually need this name. So uh, I can just, yeah, I don't really, I guess I don't really need this. Um, but I guess we'll do it anyway. So what we're gonna do is create a user first so let user is equal to auth dot auth dot current user and we know it's a we know we've just got one we could force unwrap it because we just created one now we can now we can add a change request so change request uh Oh, no, we need to let change request. I probably don't need to do it here, but I'll do it anyway. User dot create profile change request and change request dot display name is equal to name. Okay, now we also need to check it here. So we'll just quickly check that here. We'll create another change request. Uh, let change request equals user dot create profile change request change request dot display name equals name and now we can commit the changes so change request dot commit changes completion error in uh, if error is equal to nil then we can say uh, we've just printed added the name I know that was really complicated just to add a name but it's just so it's easy to see I guess we could print it too so now we should be able to just do user dot uh, display name as any okay if there was an error we can just say else print error Okay, that was really complicated just to add a name, but it's fine. Okay, now uh, I'll just create this as any. Okay, now this is our sign up controller done. So once it's finished that, it can just go on to, it can just go on to, uh, go to the uh, app. So if is this the right yeah this is the right okay so now to perform segue with identifier I forgot what that identifier was what we're looking for is this sign up to the app and I think it's this one yeah sign up okay you can just copy that and paste that in there and send a self okay so I think we've handled the sign up fine so now we can just oh we need to add a self button okay so this is our sign up done now what we can do is go to our login controller and we're going to have to create some login stuff as well luckily the login stuff is quite easy so all we need to do is login button uh, let's create our outlets again so I'm just gonna go up here and create an email outlet uh, email text field and we're also going to have the password text field uh, 
Okay, now we can just, so when login button is clicked, what we're going to do is just check if it's been logged. So I'll just, so to do this, you do, oh, we need to import Firebase too. So import Firebase, import Firebase, off. Okay, now we can do off dot off dot sign in with oh we need to do sign in with email dot sign in with email email and password so the email will be oh let's just let email equals email text field dot text and let password equals password text field dot text and this email will be that password will be password and the completion will be the same as before so of data for user error in and then if there's no error is errors equal to nil signed in successfully I don't even think that's spelt right else We'll just print the error. Or we can just create an alert. Uh, yeah, I'll just copy and paste that alert. Ooh, where's the alert? There it is. Oh, yeah, just delete that quickly. Okay, just copy that. And we'll just put this alert here. So I'll just click error. And the message will be error. Uh, let me just do it as a string. Okay, so now that if they've signed in successfully, they can just go straight to the app. So that would be this. So now let's just move this from here. So this is called login. Thank you. And we can just perform that segue. So self dot perform segue login self. Uh, oh. Gonna have to do error as any. Uh, I have a feeling that won't work. Uh, or we could just do error dot localized description. Oh uh, yeah, we'll do that. Dot localized description. Okay. Now, now let's see how this works. But what we're also going to want to do is in. Oh wait, what's this error? Uh, oh, self to present. Okay, so we can do that, but we also want to check if the user's account has been deleted somewhere else. So to do that, what you need to do is check if they have a uh, user guard let. So in the verification controller, we can check here, and once we've also checked here, if the user is nil, we also want to check here if guard so we can do guard let uh, let current user equals equals uh, off wait hang on alright this doesn't really matter uh, I was going to do if the account has been deleted, but it would be a bit too complicated to get into now, so maybe in a future episode, uh, tutorial. Anyway, so that's about it, and now that's all we need to do, so now we can run this and see how this works. Oh, one more thing, so I was talking about earlier, we needed to bring in Firebase and just quickly fix something. So what we're going to do is go to our Firebase, go to authentication, and we need to enable this so we can just enable this and now we can just wait here run this project and create an account so I'll name this account aria sk my email um, I'll just give a random email aria uh, outlook.com I'll just say nothing. Uh, oh, I th we'll fix that. We'll fix that. So what I'm going to do to fix that is I'm just going to 
remove this, uh, just create that secure text entry. Now it should just come up with the dots. Uh, okay, now I can sign up, and now it's done. So now let's go back to Safari and we reload this, and you can see it's come up. So there's just one more thing we need to do. We need to add a logout button. To do that, let's just go to our main dot storyboard and add a quick button here. So you can add this wherever you want, but all this is going to be is just help us log out. So I'm just going to call this log out and I'll increase the font size. Uh, let's make it red. Okay. Now what we're going to do is uh, so to log out um, we can just go to here uh, we have to add a we have to add a uh, outlet so I'll just add that here outlet oh sorry <laughs> log out outlet and we'll just save that and now so to log out it's quite simple what we need to do is log out first and then move the user back to the initial storyboard so I guess what we could do is actually if we go to our verification controller what we could do is instead of putting this stuff in the view did load we could put this in the view did appear so wait yeah I'll put this in the view did appear and now if we go back to our view controller we can just set this uh, when we log out we have to do because uh, we need to if it doesn't work we don't want our app to crash we'll try oh <laughs> keep forgetting we need to import firebase so i'll just import firebase and import firebase or okay now we can try off dot off dot sign out it's that easy and if it doesn't work then what we'll do is just do a catch let sign out error as ns error and then also error and then we'll just print the error print sign out error oh. okay um, and now we also just want to move it back to the original screen so you can do this how you want but I'm just going to keep it simple and just take a big segue back to the original screen I know this is a bad way of doing it but I j it doesn't really matter so oh let me just make this full screen so it doesn't look trash uh, or if I just make this full screen there we go okay let's name this segue back to origin I mean back to the start so I'll just name that start and now we can just put that segue over that oh <laughs> so perform I think I'm gonna need a self block actually it'll give me a warning if I do so perform segue identifier back start self let's see if it works okay now let's just run this and see if it works and I can also bring in firebase so let's okay Oh, why does my logout button look so bad? Uh, let me just quickly fix that. I'm just going to add a quick horizontally in center, and we'll just add a 35. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but sure. 35, and then now if we run this again, but you can see our verification really worked there because it moves us straight to the app. Uh, I'll bring back Safari here. So if I try and log out, uh, you can use whatever um, segue you want, but it's fine. And now if we already have a login, we can just say use this login we want. Uh, oh, I forgot to do one small thing. <laughs> I keep forgetting to do things. <laughs> so what? We also forgot to make this one a secure text entry. Uh, so secure text entry. What we just did though was we logged out, and now this is. Uh, made the current user nil so it's going to bring us right back to the sign up screen now I can try and log in with the account we made so aria at outlook.com and our password was nothing now if we click login it should allow us in oh uh, 
demo login controller has no segue login. I think we typed the wrong segue. So if we want this segue from here to oh I think I typed the wrong segue. It should be logged in. Okay, there we go. And now if we run this <laughs> sorry guys, this video is getting a bit long, but it's all worth it. And it logged in because it did the login, it just didn't sign in properly. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, and that's it for my video. Anyway, see you in the next video, bye!